The stunts he performs are so insanely dangerous that people call him the indestructible man. What? This time, my search for extraordinary humans has led me to Thailand. On this leg of my journey, I've traveled to Ho Hin, which is renowned for its Buddhist temples. And I'm here to meet a Shaolin monk who claims to have a unique power, making his body virtually indestructible. <laughs> Shaolin Kung Fu is the oldest style of Chinese martial arts. It was first practiced in the original Buddhist Shaolin temple in Henan province, China. <laughs> the monks used meditation techniques to make their bodies stronger and improve their combat skills. But Hu Chong has developed his own controversial brand of Kung Fu. Using spears and even power tools, he claims to use unique techniques to enable him to withstand pain on the most vulnerable part of the body, the throat. The stunts he performs are so insanely dangerous that people call him the indestructible man. What? I'm here to witness his abilities firsthand. What is the stunt that you do? I can put this spear up to my throat and push against it until I bend the stick. That's... <laughs> that's pretty impressive. And it goes right here. And that doesn't hurt? No, I feel no pain at all. Now he wants to show me why they call him the indestructible man. He says he can bend three spears without them piercing his skin. And to make it even tougher, he wants to have a stone slab broken across his back while he does it. When we're in position, he lines up the spears on his throat. There's nothing but skin stopping them from puncturing his windpipe. There's so much force coming through. It presses so far. It's actually indented into your throat at the moment. Does it stop you from breathing as well? I can't breathe and I can't talk when I'm doing it. Hu Chong's spear comes dangerously close to one of the most important organs in the body, the trachea or windpipe. Due to its position, it's possible to slice directly into the windpipe. In fact, a blade no sharper than the spear Hu Chong uses would have been all doctors needed to slice into the trachea. So how is he able to walk away entirely unharmed? When you were moving your body and you were breathing and doing all this sort of special preparation, what were you actually doing? I do that as an exercise for three reasons. Firstly, to warm up, then to control my airways and my breathing. And when I yell, it helps to tighten my skin, making it more resistant to the spears. Hu Chong is now preparing to attempt his most deadly stunt yet. He's about to place his entire body on these three traditional spearheads. A 50-kilogram block of stone will then be placed on his back and smashed with a lump hammer. A group of Kung Fu students have come to witness his indestructible throat. First is the tricky task of getting into position. Then balancing with his throat on the spearhead. With no time to waste, now for the moment of truth. One, two. <laughs> At first, it sounds like he's injured. But miraculously, he leaps to his feet, completely unharmed. <laughs> My heart is beating out of my chest after doing that. You see, I don't get hurt, thanks to my years of training and practice. Seeing what you've done is completely extraordinary. You're, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you.